up everybody Jeff Bernard with Solve Systems here and today we're gonna go over how to build a driver route calculation app within Power Apps and Microsoft Flow Now Power Automate so let's dive right in so we're gonna crack open the Power Apps portal and then we're gonna crack open Flow as well we're gonna go over the Power Apps side first and then we're gonna go over the Microsoft Flow side so I simply put on the screen a label which will be down here another label which will bring in our mileage a submit button just a cool image of a truck because that's uh, appropriate to this one drop down two drop down three drop down four drop down I like to name everything and get everything in order to have a good slate to work with so that's why that is all configured that way so what we want to do is get some addresses and this is how this is going to work I'll bring this up in PowerPoint to show you what we have going on here we have the delivery truck leaves the factory and then that would be this address then goes to the first location second location and then back to the original location now there's a bunch of ways we could make that happen but we just for the sake of simplicity did drop downs for everything so now that we have that, that outline we'll go over how the app works so I hard coded basically a list of those addresses in each drop down so the first drop down is going to contain your start point second drop down is going to be your second location third location and then back to the original start point you could probably do collections on this and make this a lot smoother but I wanted to illustrate more how the flow side of things works so we're gonna hit play and we're gonna hit submit and as you'll see it's already brought it in here but we'll let's just say we'll go back to this route and we'll hit submit again now you can see the mileage down here changed and that's because on the flow side of things it's currently calculating everything so we'll go back to the start to make this super simple so that's start right here and drop down one drop down two is our first location second location and then third location we'll hit submit route again and then that'll come up with our number our total mileage for the trip we could format this to not have the uh, extra numbers after the decimal but we'll just leave it like it is for now so we're gonna focus on how to go build this in flow so open up flow and the first function we want to get is power apps and that is done by I'll do it right here just type in power apps and that'll come up with well there's a few of them so the one you want is to ask in Power Apps, and they will have nothing else left. So that is ask in Power Apps, and then we're going to initiate or initialize the first variable, and then give that var route calc one, and we'll make it type float, not put anything in the value, and then we'll add in another one, route calc two. So that's pretty simple then here's where we actually pull in the information from power apps we want to make sure of a few things here you want to get the Bing connector so when you're adding the action that looks like this and you'll want to get the uh, 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 uh. Yeah, so it's the route. It's the route preview. So you want to make sure you get that. Obviously, it says it right here. I didn't even look at that. Okay, so now we're back on track. You have waypoint one, and what you're going to want to do is ask in Power Apps. And what that will give you is the name of that, right? So waypoint one, and then waypoint two. Now, this is going to start off your first leg. This is going to be this from the factory to this first location. Now, back to flow then we'll, we can just copy that because they have a new cool feature called copy to clipboard and we can add in another one below it and this is get route 2 
And it's nice to name all these things to uh, keep them very simple. So make sure you name things synchronously. And then one caveat here is as you see when you hover over it, we had get route one waypoint two. And then we want to start this one off with waypoint two. So what that looks like is that'll already be here. And that'll be route one waypoint two. And so what it's doing here is calculating waypoint one, waypoint two. Then we want to start with waypoint two and then go to waypoint three um, so that we're not adding mileage to our trip. So that is get route one, waypoint two, and then we'll ask in Power Apps here. And that would be done by asking in Power Apps, and then it would generate this tag here. And that's get route two, waypoint two. Then we'll add in another get route, Bing connector, and that will add, we want to get the get route two in the first position here, waypoint one on get route three. So that calculates the second route to the third route. And then uh, this calculates get route three. So from the last point, point of the second route to the third the last point of the third route okay so all we're doing is going from here to here then here to here then here to here simple enough cool okay and then we want to set the variable here and we're going to choose route calculation the first thing we initialized up here and then add the add function. One caveat here is you can only add two things at a time. So you'll have to add in get route one or add body get route one question mark travel distance. And so if I run this here, we'll see what that that looks like. Okay, so it ran successfully, and as you can see, it gives you all this information. It gives you distance, uh, well, the, 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 the unit of measurement, and then it gives you seconds. It gives you all of these cool details, um, and then it actually has more. It has the coordinates, I mean, just a wealth of information, even traffic down here if you wanted to have that per waypoint. You could do something cool like that. So we want to set the first variable as add and then the output of route one and then add that distance to with route two. So we're adding the first route and the second route's distance together in this variable. Then we're gonna pass get route three and var of this, so we're going to take basically take this calculation, which is route one and two, and then add it along with three to here in the set variable two. And then we're going to pass that variable back into respond to power app or flow. We're going to name it. It's going to be a text type. So when you add, you'll add text, and then you'll give it a name which is route mileage, and then this is the last variable. So if you think about this in steps, it's logical because what we're doing is we're calculating the distance between each one, one of these points with the Bing connector, and then we're adding those distances together. And then we're getting the response in Power Apps. So it's pretty simple once you put it all together And we'll collapse all this to get you a good picture of what that looks like. So to review again, to ask in Power Apps, uh, initialize the variable, initialize the second variable, get the first route to the second route, or the first leg of that route, and then get the route of the first leg to the second leg, second leg to third leg, third leg to back to the home base. 
we set the variable add route one and two here and then pass that into the second variable which we add get route and then the calculation of the first two and then we just respond back into power apps with that so now that we have all this strung back up in flow all of it it looks good here we ran it so we know it works and so I'm gonna kinda go back and show you how to get that data back into power apps so we have the first thing you want to do it's gonna look like I'll just copy and paste this to make it easier on myself um, what things would originally look like to run the flow would be this route calculation to uh, dot run and then you would add in each drop down and then that would take all those elements throw them into flow and then pull the number back but to pull the number back you have to set it to a variable so what that means is we're sending that to flow and then the information that comes back is going to be the last thing in the flow so the last thing that comes back to power apps will be respond to power app or flow with that uh, what we designated here which is the route calc 2 variable which is all of the distances added up and then we give that a name as route mileage so what that looks like in flow is we'll paste this back in and I just uh, put set mileage you can name it whatever you want right because it's a variable it's a global variable we can use it anywhere in the app and so that is can be whatever we want it to be and then we'll add in route mileage so you see there that's pulling it in from flow right here it just makes it lowercase uh, for simplicity's sake we will close it off okay so now we don't have any values here so we know that this is fresh and clean we've chosen our values our hard-coded values here again you can bring this in from a SharePoint list that has addresses for your routes you can splice this any number of ways this is just to illustrate how this is done so we have the we're passing this flow or we're passing all of this information to flow running this flow and then we're getting back the route mileage and we're setting that as the variable of mileage so on the labels that I said that we put on the screen initially right here you'll see mileage so that's the last step right we added this flow to the button we added all our drop downs all our information and then we are taking that and we're going to add mileage to it so as you know power apps has a good memory uh, when we're calling information in and so all you have to do is start typing mileage and there you go turns green good to go so we'll click start and then we have all of our points waypoints chosen and then BAM we've got a distance calculator now you can configure this in better ways uh, but this is to illustrate how to take information from power app and push it into flow and then pull that back um, and so I hope this was helpful and I look forward to doing some more of these here shortly if you're interested in any certain types of apps uh, that integrate with flow and then reporting or just any ideas feel free to comment so we'll talk to you guys later bye